Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Saga 3! Today we're going to be doing some quests. So first things first, we have some password quests. Uh, let's see. No. Uh, let's see, we want to put in this. Let's see, 0098. There we go. And that unlocks a, hot, uh, unlocks a hunt in Iron Depths. And then the next one I want to do is J0ERP9. Okay, there we go. And that unlocks the Smash and Grab event in North Tower. And since we got a quest in North Tower last time, we might as well get all of our North Tower quests out of the way. Okay. And now talk to this lady. Oh, really? Huh. Yeah, I could totally do that, seeing as I just unlocked that quest for you. Perfect! Okay, so let's head on out of here and head down into Iron Depths and fight the guy. He's all the way at the bottom of the Iron Depths, if you saw it on my mini-map right there. And we have to fight the Blood Ray. He is 825 HP, and he's weak to fire! So we'll go ahead and use that. Uh, we'll use this one. There we go. Yeah, go all out. Uh, nobody needs to be healed, so there we go. And yeah, kick the crap out of him. Perfect! If you wanted to, if these battles were too difficult, you could go into Moo, and uh, there is some new equipment in there that you could purchase. It's new armor as well as uh, some new weapons. Mostly a, uh, a jitsu for any beastmen that you happen to have. Uh, but yeah, that's as easy as it gets. So do I want this? No. And off to North Tower. Well, let's head on inside and see uh, what's different. The whole layout is totally the same. There's only one new treasure in here, which is uh, right there. Let's see. So you want to go down here. And because we've got that password, talk to this guy. I'm going to do it. Uh, what are you going to do? Yeah, seriously. Can't you tell? I'm going after the treasure. Yeah. Supposedly, someone left a huge pile of treasure in there, but this rock fell yesterday, blocking the way. That means there's treasure waiting right on the other side of this rock. Just wait and see. I'll smash this rock and grab that treasure. Huh. Okay. Well, I wonder, I wonder uh, what we can't do about that. Well, let's go check this thing out and see. We could probably break a rock like that, but how should we do it? He said the rock fell yesterday, right? Should we give the Gears of Time a shot? Hmm. Yeah, we actually do want to go back in time for this one. And away we go! First come, first served. Yes, yeah, seriously. <laughs> oh, wait. Did this thing just move? Whoa! Holy crap! That's a monster! Oh, well, we're not fighting a stone this time. We're fighting just a rock. Like, seriously, it's just called a rock. Uh, yeah, just go there. And he's weak to water, as usual. There we go. Ooh, c, -c, c combo Uh, this guy isn't that difficult. He has a decent amount of HP, but it's nothing he can't handle. Ooh, Transcendence. Uh, I was expecting a lot more from that. That was kind of crummy, I've gotta say. Eh. Yeah, just keep on attacking against this guy. It's really nothing uh, too hard, I've got to say. Uh, there we go. You know, the other night, I went out to a show. They have um, shows here in Vegas at the Smith Center. It's kind of like a performing arts show. It wasn't like anything on the strip. It was The Bridges of Madison County, and I, I've never seen the movie or the book or anything, but it was pretty good. Oh, we did it. Are you going to grab the treasure, Arthur? Of course you'll take it, right? We can sell it and make a little extra money. Still, I feel kind of guilty about it. I think so, too. I'll leave it alone. Okay, let's return forward in time. Yeah. Oh, someone grabbed the treasure already. That guy we saw earlier, probably. Wait a minute. Is everything okay, Arthur? Yeah, it's just that there's a little gap at the bottom of the box. Really? Hey, this chest is a false bottom. Oh, should we tell the guy about it? Nah, let's just take it ourselves. Alright. Ooh! 21 karat gold nugget. Sweet! So awesome. So we got that, and let's uh, continue on our way up this tower because there's more 
uh, quests to do here, more monsters to fight, more things to do and see. Whoa! Oh, you know what? I went the wrong way. Why am I going this way? Oh, hell. So, let's just head on over to the third floor. There we go. Yeah, we saw the uh, one treasure chest that we can get, so let's go get it! Okay. Go get the ice brand, which we already have. But, here is our hunt monster! So, let's fight him! Let's take him all! Let's take him out! I really should have healed Curtis before uh, fighting this guy, but hopefully we'll be fine. We shall see. So this Bloodsucker, he's weak to water, so we'll use that Ice Brand there. Uh, 39, there we go. And uh, I'm going to have you heal yourself. And since he's weak to water, I'm totally going to go all out with her uh, water attack, her Blizzaja. Uh, so as I said before, he is weak to water, and he has 1,482 HP. So he is nothing to sneeze at, and he can hit really hard, as you just saw. He just hit us for like 200-something damage. So, yeah, don't take this guy lightly. Um, I'm gonna check this out, this dividing slash, to see how well that does. Yeah, oh, no, don't heal yourself. You need to heal Arthur now. There we go. It's it's really nice to have both of them with healing. I was considering at first just giving one of them healing, like just giving healing to Gloria, but I thought, no, what if one of them dies or something like that? Um, it really is nice to have kind of a backup healer as well. So, there we go. Nothing too terrible. And finish that up, so let's go get our awards! I'm down in Iron and it's time to get our well-earned rewards! So first things first, talk to this guy. Yeah, we certainly did! Ooh, 10,000 Caro! Nice! And from, let's see, this lady, what do we have? I certainly did! Ooh, the Dimensional Sword! Hey! Oh, no, 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 wrong button! I was just freezing time for just a moment there, viewers. Worry not. Okay, uh, let's see, I want to equip that dimensional sword. Where is it? Oh, it's a great sword. Oh, hell, that sucks. Okay, well, I'm not going to worry about it then. I was hoping that it was a regular sword. Ugh. Anyway, that would be a pretty powerful sword um, if you had, like, a cyborg or something. Uh, it could come in pretty handy, but I'm not going to worry about it because uh, can't spark anything with it because humans aren't good with great swords for whatever reason. But anyway, let's head on into Moo and see what's going on down here. Yeah, so we're, it just automatically makes you metamorphosize. If you don't, every time that you talk to these guys, um, it will uh, start a random battle. Well, not really random, but just a battle. So you don't really want to do that. Okay, going over here, we can get some new equipment. The Triple Lunge, which would be really nice for Sharon. Go ahead and buy that. And uh, I'll equip that off screen. I'm not going to worry about it right now, but... It's nice to get an upgrade to her Jitsus. Let's see, what do you have? Oh, really? Who's Ragna? Oh, okay. Well, I guess he's probably the final boss of the game. Uh, I'll have to keep that in mind as well. And there's some really nice armor here as well. So I want to buy four Mithril Helms. There we go. And it looks like three Magician's Garbs. And I'm going to buy two... Two plated boots, and I'll equip all that stuff off screen. Uh, nothing really there in the item shop that I'm worried about. Let's head on here, see what these guys have to say. Huh. Monsters are snatching away children to get a sacred sword? Sounds like Dragon Quest IV. Oh, the sacred sword of Scalibur can't be taken except by a woman with a birthmark on her forehead. Didn't Nemesis have a birthmark on her forehead? Yeah. Yeah, and then they're talking about Otherworld and make, um... Otherworld is the is this game's name for the Pure Land. Oh, really? They lose control of themselves with this disease. Well, that's not good. Ooh, Windstone. Yeah, that's one of those sacred stones that they were talking about. So keep those in mind for much, much later in the game. But uh, there's one part of the town that we haven't been to yet, over here by the magic shop. Huh, there's a man here and he's not transformed. Wonder what's going on with him? Hello, who might you be? We're visitors from above the water. What the hell happened to this town? Sahua virus happened. Fifteen years ago, individuals infected with Sahua virus entered this town. They must have followed someone here from the SS Neptune. The disease began to spread, and we were helpless to stop it. Is there some way that we can help the people here? If the Sahua Jin that was the original source of the infection were eliminated, that might restore them. 
So where is he now? I wish I knew. That would make things easier. I suppose it's somewhere near the infected individuals came from. And we get the quest an ounce of prevention. So now we're magically transformed back into our uh Sahuagins. Doesn't this remind you of Lay Guys? Sure does. It's the same disease going around here for sure. True, but what can we do about it? It's likely that somebody from Lay carried the disease here to move. Are you sure about that? Not completely. Still, Lay did sink into the sea, and about the same time that that happened, the infected individuals came to move. It's hard to believe that's just a coincidence. Good point. Let's check the past for the Sahuagin that started the infection and get rid of it. Yeah, that would not only save the people of this town, but the people in Lay as well. Then let's get going! So, where do you think that we should go? Well, to find the original Sahuagin, of course. There's no way finding it's going to be that easy. Besides, we're supposed to be saving the whole world. Even so, we can't just leave things like this. Maybe we can go back to the present instead. What for? The doctor said that the infected came from the SS Neptune to move 15 years ago. If we go back to the present, maybe we could stop them from reaching town. And maybe that would save Moo? That's true, but we can't just give up on the people of Lei. Since we know the cause of the disease, there's no need to hurry. Once we've saved the world, we can come back and deal with the original Sahuagin then. What do you think, Arthur? Uh, we have two choices here. The best choice is look for it in the past. Yeah. There's no way we have time for all that. Maybe not, but we can't just abandon people who are suffering. You call that suffering? Turning into a Sahuagin is starting to look like fun. If you got time for crazy talk like that, then we've got time to head to the past. The Zahujin should be somewhere around Lei. And we'll go searching for the original host next time on Let's Play Saga 3. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And happy watching!